Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the $20 makeup challenge and this is a back to school edition because back to school is really really soon. I know a lot of people right now are probably in school. That's crazy. So I wanted to give you guys something that was really simple but looked really good at the same time and was very inexpensive. So I'm going to go to the store right now, go to the drugstore and pick out a couple items that are $20 and we'll do this makeup challenge, okay? Okay, I'm back and I got things for $20. It was kind of hard, but I did it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup right now. I tried this morning to do more of high-end makeup so you guys could do, like, see the difference because there really isn't gonna be a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and I will be right back with the tutorial. So for foundation, I bought the Naturelux Cover Girl Foundation. It was on clearance for $4.80. Amazing. So I have used this before and it is awesome. It's really lightweight and natural looking. So I'm just using this uh, as a base, foundation base. Um, and I was gonna buy it anyways, but then it was on clearance and I was like, yes, I can buy more stuff now. So I'm just blending with my fingers. I like blending my foundation with my fingers because it like warms it up. And yeah, it smells really good and I really recommend this foundation a lot. So normally, if I was on a budget, I wouldn't buy concealer. I would just double up my foundation. But since living in California, my acne has been crazy. I usually have really good skin and I don't know, it's just probably the air or the pollution or something. But my skin is going crazy. So I bought this foundation or concealer and I mean, it's all right. It's kind of really waxy and I think the shade was way too light for me. But I mean, it did the job. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but yeah, so. So there was all this hype over the Maybelline 24 hour tattoos and I got mine on clearance for t uh, $2.19, I don't remember. But um, I got it in toughest taupe. I wanted to get like a neutral color that would do a very simple smoky eye. So I just took this on one finger and I'm blending it out into the outer corner. So it just is gonna give me more of like a natural, very smoky blended eye. And then taking a clean finger and blending it even more. Uh, I'm pretty much just blending until it looks good. Um, so yeah, the product was okay. It was kind of hard to blend. It like mattified into like a powder, if that makes sense, like right when I went on my eye. So, but it was doable. If I had a brush, it probably would have been better. So for mascara, I took the Rimmel Super Extra Super Lash, and I'm using this as eyeliner as well. So I'm taking a very small concealer brush and just using it as like a liquidy gel and putting that on the top lash line. And I'm also putting it on my tight line and waterline.
So the mascara itself, it wasn't that great. I didn't buy an eyelash curler, so I didn't even bother to curl my lashes, but the brush was really like, it didn't catch my lashes, and the formula was kind of heavy. But overall, I guess it did the job, and I don't know, I just wish that it was a little bit more volumizing, volumizing, but it was lengthening, so that was cool. So for blush and lipstick, I got the Revlon lipstick in Wink for Pink, and the blush, it worked out amazing because the formula was really creamy, and I was just guessing I'd never used one of these before, but I loved it. I think the color was perfect, and this is probably one of my new favorite lipsticks. I love the color, and I think it completes the look amazingly. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the finished look, and um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put the side-by-sides right here. You really can't tell a big difference. The mascara from the drugstore, I wasn't digging it too much, but everything else looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, I'm in love with the lipstick. The color is amazing, the formula is awesome, and this particular lipstick is really awesome to use as blush too, because it's just that creamy. So I really, really recommend pretty much everything that I got, that I tried out. Comment down below and tell me your favorite makeup product from the drugstore so I can go run out and pick it up because I've been digging the drugstore makeup lately. Also, I want you guys to like this video for more back to school videos and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!